So what's your opinion of the way the fights went down on KO 81? Well, you know, my boys' fights, Rafi jerked the curtain. To me, beautiful display of boxing, speed, finesse, and then a complete other fucking destruction of a guy, like I said, 30 fights, five pro fights, three wins, two losses, very respectable, lots of power. Never been knocked out. Never been there. knocked out. Never. But look look what the mindset of a killer does. Went in there, cool as can be, the whole locker room had him getting green. And again, my son goes in there and utterly fucking destroys that kid. Then they complain that they shouldn't have stopped the fight. Are you crazy? That kid was wobble jerking. Like, oh, yeah. But yeah, they said, oh, it shouldn't have been stopped. So anyone that steps up to Rafi better, A, have cardio and run. He runs 14K a day and then spars 12 rounds and then does his conditioning, swims in the morning. Like, they don't understand. You better have a fucking grade A game plan. Because my son is coming to fuck you up. You know, he's, he's a killer. He's a silent killer. doesn't say much, but he's a killer. You know, as for Carlito, Carlito, no one knows this, but we've been having trouble for the last two KO fights with his shoulder. He had a, a tear, a micro tear. He fought Hugo Aguilar with one wing through fucking 42 jabs through the whole fight. Four rounds, 42 jabs. That's not that many jabs. And then... In this fight, in the locker room, he hurt his shoulder right before he walked out. So Sabo's there saying, oh, I had a bad shoulder. You know what? Carlito has a lights in the bad shoulder. You can ask the, the doctor trying to rehab him. But, uh, yeah, the next fight for him, like, it didn't go the way we wanted. Sabo, you know, he's a good, tough guy. Season bad. He's 33. Hey, you know what? You're fighting a 17-year-old. What's that tell you? Something... And he wasn't performing good. So that automatically, to me, says, hey, you know what? You know, shit happens. Right? But yeah, they went, we pulled off the W's. The boys are happy. Uh, you know, you know, sure, they, you know, they're, they're happy they won. They're happy. And then they got some bombs dropped. Hey, no more boxing. You know, what do you do? So... How did they handle that after? Uh, like, they don't no, give a shit. Cause they, you know what? We as soon as the fight was over, the phones start ringing. You know what? I don't know how many other guys got. We got like I said, New York, Mexico. My cousin. We got Vinny there, and like it, like just we got six offers in a week. And as soon as they found out that KO might not be able to do shows here or have a guaranteed shows, you know, currently those contracts coming up in March. <laughs> And if I heard they're doing a show at River Cree, well, you know what, man? If we can't fight there, Carlito can't fight there. He's underage because there's no way it's about venue. And if it's an all if it's an all ages thing, then he can. But if it's a, just an adult thing, he can. So you know what? You know we got offers. But you know what? We it comes down to it where it's business. At the end of the day, it comes down to dollars and cents. Like I said, we're a machine. We need money. That's how we do it. So we'll see what Mel says. You know, she, in, the, in the end, she's the boss. She runs the show. But, you know, what do we do? All right.